then that one says incorrect. That says death. And directly to the right of this one is incorrect. Incorrect. I'm going red. I died. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is MBR. Today we're playing a game called Doors. This is a game based on choice and there's riddles. Um, and the main purpose of this is that you're either going towards death or towards bacon. Uh, and your choices depict which is the outcome. So yeah, I thought it'd be kind of a fun game. Uh, the artwork kind of reminds me actually of Limbo, if you ever played that game. Yeah, all the controls seem like a little bit delayed. I should have been reading those things. Crap. Uh, on every door is a statement. It may be true and it may be false. So yeah, it's a, it's a, you go through these little portals and if you make the wrong decision, you die. If you make the right one, it's one step closer to bacon. And I'm not joking. That's, that's the actual point of the game. If one statement is uh, on a door is true, then all uh, all statements on that door are true. If one statement on a door is true, then all statements on that door are true. If one statement on a door is false, then all the statements on that door are false. God, I probably missed some really important stuff back there. Now that I think about it. Okay. So yeah, I figured this would be kind of a fun like side game. I don't ex expect it to be that long. I'm pretty sure it's only about like 20, 30 minutes long, maybe 40. Bacon is wonderful. Damn straight. America. Uh, okay. So yeah, this does definitely reminds me of like a first person limbo if that was even a thing. That'd be actually kind of cool. Like Mirror's Edge, but limbo artwork style. All right, we got some more doors here. What does this say? Exactly one door is correct. All right, this door leads to bacon. The other door leads to death. One of these doors leads to bacon, the other leads to death. So that one is true because one of those do leave, lead to bacon and the other one leads to death. So that is the correct door, hopefully. I don't know if dying just makes you reset the, the round or whatever, but I believe I was right because there was no way that could be a false statement, so. All right, next riddle. This is actually already kind of cool. Uh, the correct door, or wait, the correct door leads to bacon, the incorrect door leads to death. This door leads to bacon, the other door leads to death. That's true, because the correct door leads to bacon, the incorrect one leads to death. Yeah. Okay, so there might be more than one door that's true, possibly. What happens if I just go off, off track? Oh, you can't, you can't go off track, okay. And you can't jump either, so. Can't break the game, darn, whatever. Uh, both doors are correct. Bacon does not lead to happiness. Bacon leads to happiness. This door leads to bacon. The other door leads to death. Bacon does lead to happiness, so that's true. All right. So far, three for three. Uh, both doors lead to death. This door leads to bacon. Either both doors are correct or both doors are incorrect. Each door leads to either bacon or death. So, can I go backwards? Would that be like a twist in the in the riddle, possibly? No? Okay. Well then I guess it's gonna have to be the one on the right since that one is gotta be incorrect, right? Oh, am I dead? I died, dang. Okay, so if both doors lead to death, that doesn't make sense. If both doors lead to death, that didn't make sense because that one was lying. Uh, Oh wait, no, because it eventually will lead to death if you do it right. Okay, I understand what it's saying now. Okay, so what does this say on the ground now? The two, two doors are correct. One leads to bacon, the other leads to death. Okay, the green door leads to bacon. The red door leads to bacon. The red door leads to death. So, those are the only two that could be true. So I'm just gonna go with green. All right. So far, logic has been winning in my favor. Uh, there we go. All three doors are correct. The blue door is incorrect. The red door is incorrect. At least one door is correct. The correct doors lead to bacon. So if all the doors are correct, and the blue door is incorrect, and the red door is incorrect, all three doors are incorrect. So the red, the red door, this one is the correct one, because the red can't be correct if those ones were incorrect. See what you you picking up what I'm putting down? I just spit a little bit on my monitor. That's fine though. We're on our way to bacon and my mouth is watering. I like the scenery that it puts you in. It's not just one straight shot every single time. It's something different, uh, even slightly different. Exactly, two doors are correct. 
One door leads to bacon, the others lead to death. The green door leads to bacon. The incorrect door leads to bacon. The, this door leads to death. Two doors are correct. Okay, so the incorrect door leads to bacon. The green door leads to bacon. This door leads to death. So if that one was true, that one's not telling the truth. So, damn it. <laughs> it was telling the truth. Then why would it be the one that leads to death? That didn't make sense. So that one's lying. That one's, wait, that one's telling the truth, but that one's lying at the same time. Okay, I'm just gonna choose green. F All right, and I was doing so good too. I was three for three at the beginning and now I'm like dying left and right. All right, oh, now there's four doors. Oh God. At least one door is correct. At least two doors are correct. The green door leads to death. Uh, exactly three doors are correct. This door leads to bacon. Fewer than three doors are correct. This door leads to bacon. Uh, fewer than three doors are correct. This door leads to bacon. Exactly three doors are correct. At least two doors are correct. The green door leads to death. This door leads to bacon. I'll just choose this one. It isn't real. Are you sure that's something? Is it telling me the bacon's a lie? Is this like a portal type of thing? Okay. I'm down. I love that game. Except I don't have a portal gun in this game, but there are portals there, so I guess that makes sense. I guess it's like a mix between a bunch of different genres that were inspired, uh, or inspiring this. Because I think it was developed by only one guy, which is kind of cool. Um, exactly one door is correct. One leads to bacon. The okay, so that was a basic one. You will choose this door. That door, the door that you will choose leads to death. So if I choose that door, then that one will leave. God. All right, I'm sorry, Red Door. I'll listen to you next time. I'm, I apologize. I should have listened to you this entire time. Now I'm in like a mountainy landscape. That's kind of cool. Uh, exactly, one door is correct. One leads to bacon, the others lead to death. Okay, you'll choose this door. The red door is incorrect. You will not choose this door. The door that you will choose leads to bacon. So if I will choose this door, you will not choose this door. So if I don't choose this door, that makes that correct. The door that you will choose, so I will not choose this door, makes that correct. Um, I'm gonna go with my gut feeling and go green. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I figured it out kind of, whoop. Uh, okay, stuck in a hallway now. Am I like a mental patient that's just like doing some weird tests or something? I got turned around. Oh, that way. That's the way I'm supposed to go. And I'm just trying to make my way to the lunch cafeteria and get some bacon. Is that what's going on? Do not enter. Uh, I didn't even have a choice. <laughs> oh, okay. So this is like Stanley Parables type of thing now. Happy Platypus Day. No bacon. Do you dream in color? No. Oh, subject evaluation. Maybe I was right. I wasn't just joking around, I guess. What is your favorite food? Bacon. All right. Security breach and operational. Huh. Okay. Oh, don't read that sign. Don't read it. I'm a rebel. I didn't mean to read it. I'm sorry. Can't go in the bathroom. Not allowed. This is an interesting game. It has like a bunch of different um, styles of games that uh, I feel like it draws inspiration from because it has ignore that. Am I supposed to? Ignore it? All right, whatever. Uh, I feel like it has a bunch of inspirations from different games. Let's take a moment to recognize the director from his extreme sacrifice for his country and company. Is this the meeting area? It's like Alcohol's Anonymous? For bacon, though? All opinions are welcome. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to, timeout corner. <laughs> they don't have that at AA, I'm sure. That could be kind of weird, actually. All right, looks like there's a gun range in here. That's not safe in an office area. What does Phil have to say? This has gone on long enough. I can't keep doing this. There has have already been over 2,000 casualties reported. Who knows how many more unreported. The tests just aren't working. The subjects are rejecting the simulations. They keep on realizing it's not reality, no matter how many times we wipe memories. Okay. So it is kind of Stanley Parable-esque. Oh, experimental sim. Oh, this is the blood room. I found it. Uh, I just went in a random area and it, 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 I, I got led here. Uh, so someone vomited on the wall. 
Do not insert people into wood chipper unless provoked. Very good words to live by. Uh, let's see what we got here. Bird sounds and ambience. Yes, please. Can't do it. That's fine. I didn't want it anyways. I cannot read that. Oh, I found out. Oh, I was supposed to stand in this tube. I had no clue on what to do, so I just uh, got sucked away in a tube. It's totally fine. All right, got four doors here again. Great. The correct door leads to bacon. That's the truth right there, right? Exactly one door is correct. One leads to bacon, three lead to death. I mean, that should be correct, because the correct door leads to bacon. That, that was kind of an easy one. Thought these were supposed to get harder as you went on, not easier. What? The hell? Man, why don't you just go down to this, like, the grocery store and get some bacon? Why do you have to go through all this BS and trying to find your way to, I don't know, get some slabs of meat? It just doesn't make sense to me. I'd rather just spend the tw 10 bucks or how, how much does bacon even cost? Like, pound is 10 bucks? T pound is five, five bucks? Either way, it's not worth it to do all this. I just heard a stomach growl or something. That was interesting. What is all of this? Am I in like a demon's stomach now? Oh, there's five doors. That's fun. Great. Exactly two doors are correct. One leads to bacon, four lead to death. Exactly two doors are correct, but four lead to death. How does that make sense? Two do oh, two doors are, okay. So two are correct, but one, of one leads to bacon, four lead to death. Okay, I see. Either the yellow or green door leads to bacon. The red and green doors both lead to death. So then the green one can't be it. And the red, the yellow and purple doors are both incorrect. The door that leads to bacon is also correct. The door, the red door leads to bacon. Uh, yellow and so is there any other red ones that I get to see? The red, the red and green doors both lead to death. The red door leads to bacon. Uh, either yellow or green leads to bacon. The door that leads to bacon is also correct. The yellow and purple doors are both incorrect. Red and red. Green, green. I'm gonna go with green. I died. These puzzles are uh, pretty difficult because it's like you have to think about all of them in relation with each other. So uh, my second choice was gonna be blue. Hey, great. It was actually gonna be my first choice and then I rethought what I was thinking and I chose green for whatever reason. Should have went with my, uh, with my gut feeling though. That's usually get what gets right is uh, the gut feeling. That sentence made a lot of sense, I guess, right? No? Cool. Well, now I'm in a swamp area. Please only be two. Oh, there's four. All right. The statement on each door are either both correct or both incorrect. Left refers to your left, okay. The door directly to the right of this one is incorrect. The door directly to the left of this one leads to death. The door directly to the right of this one is incorrect. The door to the left, this one leads to death. The door to the directly to the right of this one is incorrect. So this one says that the left is the one that leads to death. Right is incorrect. The door to the left, this one leads to death. The door to the right is incorrect. The door directly to the left of this one leads to death. So, both correct or both true. Okay. So that one says death. And then that one says incorrect. That says death. And directly to the right of this one is incorrect. Incorrect, I'm going red. I died. And then yet again, I should have went with my gut feeling and done this one, because this one's correct. I already knew it. I already knew it. Thinking about it after I went in through that red portal, I already knew it. Uh, you will choose the correct door. This door leads to death. The door that leads to bacon is incorrect. Exactly two doors are correct. So this door leads to death. That means that is incorrect, right? Or no, it might be correct. You'll choose the correct door. All right. 
Circle doors, what? Exactly, two doors are correct. Okay, the square door is correct. The red door leads to bacon. Two doors are correct. So the red door leads to bacon. A circle door leads to bacon. Hmm. Two doors are correct. I have a 66 and repeating sixes chance of getting this correct if I just tried to guess one. But if this one was correct, then those two would both be an incorrect. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with uh, red door leads to bacon. Circle door leads to bacon. I'm gonna go with, I mean, either one should be fine. What the fuck? I guess this one. What the heck? I am a terrible player. Uh, my second choice, my gut feeling that I dumb down to my second choice is always the one that wins for some reason, so. Exactly one door of each color is correct. Exactly one door of each shape is correct. Oh God, now you have to think about in all those dimensions. Uh, this door leads to death. This door leads to death. This door leads to, okay. Well, if that's a triangle, then that one's incorrect, right? Uh, and so that means that one's correct because it's uh, the only square all right, so not that one. Uh, this door leads to death. That means that one That one has to be correct, so that one's not correct. Uh, this door leads to death, so that one's correct. Wait, do I have to go to the incorrect one then? If it says this door leads to death? Is that what that means? Is it like a double negative? I'm gonna test it, even though I don't think this is the right way. Yeah, so it should be the red square that's truthful that le leads to bacon, I believe. Nope, just uh, keep going, shall we? I'll do this one, see if this works. Nope. The only faults I can see with this game is that out of frustration, people just walk towards doors. It l Seriously, it's the last door that I choose? All right, well, it's, there we go. All right, exactly, two doors are correct. Triangular door is correct. Circle door is leads to bacon. This door leads to bacon. The blue door leads to bacon. The correct, a correct door leads to bacon. Okay, so I've been confusing myself with this correct and incorrect. I've been seeing as the correct ones, the way to the bacon, but no, it's just part of the riddle in another layer where it's like some of those are correct, but some are incorrect, but they can still lead to bacon if they're incorrect. Ow! Okay, all right, here we go. So let's uh, let's see which ones are telling the truth. So this door leads to bacon. That one says it leads to bacon, okay. Circle door leads to bacon. So that means these two are trying to tell the truth. Okay, triangle door, door leads is correct. So that one is trying to tell the truth about that one or that one. This one says the blue door leads to bacon. It says that one's tr the truth. Correct door leads to bacon. So we have to figure out is which ones are incorrect. And there are two of them that are correct. Then it's a correct door. Triangular door is correct. Eh, fuck it. I die. A circle door leads leads to bacon. So if, that can't be correct. Right? Let's try this one. Hey. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I just, I just took a shot in the dark. <laughs> All right. Exactly three doors are correct this time. Okay, that makes things slightly more confusing. The green door leads to bacon. Both blue doors that lead, both blue doors lead to death. Exactly one door is correct. The square door leads to death. You will choose an incorrect red door. Okay, all right. Did it that time. Exactly two doors are correct. A blue door leads to bacon. Both doors adjacent to this one lead to death. Both triangle doors are incorrect. Both circle doors lead to death. A, 
correct door leads to bacon. So both circle doors lead to death. Both triangle doors are incorrect. Both doors adjacent to this one lead to death. Oh, a blue door leads to bacon. I'm gonna go with this one. A correct door leads to bacon. Hey, we did it. Oh my fuck. Okay. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Are you joking me? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's 30 doors? You expect me to look at 30 doors? There's gotta be a way to weed them out. Exactly one color of doors is correct. If a door is correct, all doors of that same color are correct. Okay. If the door is incorrect, all doors of that same color are incorrect. Exactly one door leads to bacon. Wow. All right. Uh, all circles, triangles, and red squares lead to death. And he said there's only one color of doors that are correct. Okay. All circle, triangles, and red squares lead to death. All blue doors lead to bacon. Either yellow or green door leads to bacon. So that one can't be true. Because all one color has to lead to bacon. So it's not green. Okay. Ruled that out. A purple square leads to bacon. Okay. Purple door leads to bacon. So those are both trying to tell the truth. So those are both incorrect. So... I would say that a blue door leads to bacon can't be true. So the red side must be the ones that have the bacon, I'm assuming. All circles, triangles, and squares lead to death. Circle, squares, and triangles. So I need circle, squares, and that's those are the only shapes, though. Damn it. So that can't be true. If that's the true one, that can't be true. All circle, squares... Circles, triangles, and squares lead to death. Okay, well, that's the untrue one, because that can't be possible. A blue door. Okay, either yellow or green leads to bacon, so that one can't be true. A purple square leads to bacon. Purple door leads to bacon. But if that's telling the truth and that's telling the truth, that doesn't make sense, because it says right there that there's only... One color of doors is correct. Uh, why? Why you do this? All purple triangles lead to death. Wait, all purple triangles lead to death. So that's the truth, right? Because those ones lead to death. Either a yellow or green door... Oh, yellow or green door. Why didn't I notice that before? So that one might be telling the truth. Okay, so that's telling the truth. Circle door leads to bacon. So if that's telling the truth... But wait, there's a circle there and a circle here. Okay. Both doors adjacent left and right to so this one lead to death. That's another true statement. Why didn't I notice that first one before? Oh my gosh. Beat myself up over nothing. All yellow triangles and purple squares lead to death. Yellow triangles and purple squares lead to death. So that's true. What was this one again? All yellow squares lead to death. What did this circle say? All purple triangles lead to death. Okay. So it's got to be a circle. I'm just going to try this one. Yes! Oh my goodness. Oh. That one like almost melted my brain because of how much I was trying to fucking think about it. I'm sorry for the cursing, but that was mind-bending. Okay. Uh, bacon is wonderful. Bacon is not wonderful. Bacon is wonderful. Was that it? Oh, now I'm in an airplane. All right. I wonder what would have happened if I chose uh, that bacon was not wonderful. Would it have killed me if I did not agree with bacon? That would have been crappy. Have no choice to say if you wanted bacon or not. What do you do if you're vegan or vegetarian? Come on now. Think about everybody. Is this the bacon tower? Oh, 
It's on a pedestal. The bacon is right there. I can smell it. It's sizzling still. It looks like a tongue. Doors. In a theater near you. Cheap and unlocked doors. I opened some doors. Great. So yeah, pretty cool game. Um, the the riddles got a little bit um, too mind bending in a way, and it made it so like, I mean, I appreciate the difficulty of it, and obviously it had to be difficult because it's not that long of a game. Um, but at the same time, it's like if you get frustrated enough, you're just gonna choose. Oh, you're not cleared to use this network. Subjects aren't responding well. So, they always find out it's not real. So I've heard. What are you going to do? We have plans to start over. New compounds, new staff, new simulations. The subjects won't cooperate if they know they're being forced. We have to sell this, type faster. We have to sell the simulations, make them think they want to play. Too late. It's here. Goodbye. Wait, what about us? What do you want us to... Am I the simulation? Was I the person going through it? Probably. So yeah, um... What was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, if you, like, get frustrated enough with the puzzles, you start just, like, running to doors and being like, just let me through the next part. Let me go, let me go. So it kind of lost its, like appeal after a little bit um but still brilliant game uh obviously i think it might be inspired by like stanley parable um a little bit of limbo uh and possibly some other games that i can't think of right now but thanks you guys for watching and remember to keep having fun bye-bye